not a spring chicken. Yes, if this is any foreshadowing, this is of course from Twixt the Mo um, Twixt a movie with Francis Ford Coppola and Val Kilmer and Bruce Dern. Yes, I did just come back from Comic Con. But does this remind you? Okay, Edgar Allan Poe of the President's Address and the Debt Ceiling because it's very, very urgent that we all get this taken care of, according to the President. And the Republicans must compromise for the good of the country. Oh, yes. And so for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. President's address, more a campaign speech than address. I, I know, I have to keep the little Rex Obama's ears covered when I say something. Republicans, they just got the thing. They're putting out a deal. They're getting ready to charge the President of the United States with illegal use of the airwaves to promote a political campaign. And they, he is going to be forced to pay. The, the way it works is that uh, if you're going to do a political thing, you have to pay the lowest rate for that time period. He picked prime time exactly. And the lowest rate is probably going to be $100,000 a minute. Are you serious? Well, the Republicans right now, I understand from at least the note I got, they're trying to raise money because they're going to pay Bonniers five minutes. Uh, yeah, Bonniers five minutes is going to be paid to the network. And it's not across the system, it's to the, ne to the network that broadcast it and then they sit there and divide it out among the stations. I mean, among the, uh, the people. So basically it gets down to like 25 cents in Podunk, Iowa. I know Rex did. I, I, you got to be careful. Rex is very... You know, he, he, he worships the ground that uh, Obama walks on. Like, well, now, why do they figure it's a campaign speech instead of... Uh, because there was no... It, it, was, it was 20 minutes of, of telling the world, country, I, 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 you know, balance, 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 because the balance is a word that they said works well with the independents, and condemning the Tea Party, and condemning the Republic, and he, all, he, came, every, he came as close as you could of saying the real, you know, he did say we need to elect a democratic control Congress to, to save this country from the Tea Party extremists. See, that sounds like a campaign speech. And then after it? that, after the campaign speech, they had their talking points out. The talking points were basically said, the Republican, the word now is anarchists that want to bring our nation down for, so the wealthy will, you know, take control. Um, I, you know, as much as Rex is on here, the wealthy are the Democrats, and they they excuse themselves from paying taxes. How can they do that? Because they write the loopholes into the laws that say that their people don't have to pay taxes. And then I did hear last night. Uh, they said, Bob. They said, Bob. Okay, Beckel, if you want to pay more money, I'm perfectly willing to allow you to pay all the money you want. But I actually work for a living, and you don't. Mm -hmm. So that uh, you know, Bob Beckel, though, who's supposed to be impartial. You know, if he's impartial, Ron Williams is supposed to be impartial, uh, Kirsten Powers is supposed to be impressive, they all had their talking points. The anarchists that are taking over the Republican Party must be stopped one way or another. Which means Obama is preparing something, folks. That we're going to talk. I, my family is from, part of my family is from Cicero, Illinois. And they make the people in Chicago, they made Al Capone look like Al Capone was a pansy. Okay, here's how it works. They will threaten the members, the family members of Republicans in order to get them to change their votes. They will then, if that doesn't work, they'll then beat the hell out of family members of Republicans to get them to change the vote. If that doesn't work, they'll just kill the people and then put, and then have the people appointed in that will go along with them because they've seen that, that's, that's, that's called that's called Cicero politics. That's where they Ooh. learned in Chicago. So, Ooh. right now, Rex's ears can come uncovered. And only Obama will be able to save the nation from the Tea Party and its desire to destroy the economy. I know. There's going to be a, there's a lot of Tea Party stuff because Obama mentioned the destructive the destruction of the nation by the Tea Party 25 times last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you know, actually, that would be something to put on. Where's the list of how many times they did said destruction of Tea Party. There's a list. Yeah, there's a list. You'd have to go find that list. But they were counting them last night. I mean, I heard the comments. I did, oh, I did some, I mean, some of the Democrats did say it did look um, too much like a campaign speech and not enough like, a, uh, they basically, it was not a, con a presidential address on a nation. It was nothing more than 
We're responsible. The Tea Party is leading irresponsibility. We think that we're going, we're willing to cut spending. They're not cutting any spending. They want to raise 1.4 trillion in new taxes. Now they don't have to do any cutting of spending. Oh, see how that works. Actually, if we got the president's speech, all we have to do is do a search for each of the words. Yeah, if you can do that, do. If you yeah. do the word search. It's easier to find out. You know the list that people do make. Republicans take the list. I mean, that's true. They were really upset about the fact that he mentioned himself. I, 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 I. You know, and he had. They said the problem was is that a lot of them do agree. He he has no solution to anything, none. Mm -hmm. And they also said he did stop the bipartisan agreement that was being done. Oh, he did? Yeah, oh, here was that Bonyard was going to agree to uh, $800 billion in new tax and, and, and closing of loopholes, and Obama wanted to add another uh, $600 billion to it. And that's the Democrats were blown, they blew their top over it. They had their taxes and they had no cutting of programs because the cutting of programs would be down the line and that never happens. It never happens? It never happens. Only the taxes happen. And Norway, yeah, think about health care. Yeah. And Norway suspect borrowed from Unabomber's manifesto. Okay. I, I'm, I'm trying to explain something that I heard a Catholic priest talk. They said the very afternoon after Obama had made a speech that the terrorists all, that, and we've got to stop profiling Muslims as terrorists because terrorists come with blue eyed, blonde haired also. And 12, within hours of him making that statement, Guess what happened in Norway? And uh, I find it amazing. Uh, I've been in Norway. The police are not incompetent in Norway, folks. They got a very good police department, but it took them 90 minutes to come to a uh, uh, this come to a youth camp, which they didn't approve of. Of course, and it's the youth camp for the ruling party. Yeah, they did not approve of that youth camp. So the, a political statement was made. A political, yeah, that was a political statement. The police statement. department made a political statement by letting all those kids get killed, but it backfired mm -hmm. because they're going to clamp down. Uh, as I understand, they're going to fire everybody involved with it. You know, they couldn't find any transportation. In all of Norway, they couldn't find one, one helicopter. They got a military in Norway. They have helicopters, they have, they have Coast Guard, they couldn't find a helicopter to get to the island. Symptom was not right. Because they, they let it happen. It's very simple. You know, they, they, they gave Obama the Nobel Peace Prize. They're trying to justify the Peace Prize because they now have a very adamant anti-Muslim policy in Norway. Because the courts are siding with the Norwegians that are fed up with the laws favoring the immigrants over the people. You know, if you're an immigrant, you don't have to actually work to, to, to make money in Norway. But you don't? You come to the country and they'll pay for everything for you, which is why people come to Norway. Well, no wonder why the Norwegians are pissed off. Yeah. Yeah, and Yemen pro protests are set up transitional council. Yeah, since Yemen is still, uh, okay, here's a good one. Yemen and Bahrain are supported by uh, the Saudis. And the Saudis basically are not going to let those rulers get thrown out of power, folks. So the war is just going to get bigger. But I also want to point out the fact that uh, Obama's father happened to be a member of the uh, Muslim, Muslim sect, you know, the religion that is basically doing all the attacking in those countries. Really? Yeah. And that's how they do things. They, you know, like, uh, you know, in Ma I think there are 13 tribes of which Israel was one of them. They simply are Sunnis or are going after somebody else or whatever whatever sect that Obama belonged to are simply taking power in the Middle East. That happens every so often. And Obama is the only one to gain if the debt is not covered. Well, yeah, because he is going, hey, I am the responsible one. You know, and basically Obama has thrown the Democrats under the wheels of his butt. I mean, by now, they should know that this guy will do anything. They should. And they should listen to it. If he tells you something, he doesn't lie to you. He tells you exactly. If he tells you, I did no such thing, he did exactly what he said. He will not lie to you because he's a Muslim. And there's too many Muslims that you can't, okay, I can, a Muslim can lie to an infidel, but a Muslim cannot lie to another Muslim. Mm. So if he's speaking, if the other Muslims are hearing it, he cannot be telling a lie. He's telling a truth. But he's telling the truth, and, and okay, Muslims have a con convoluted way of doing business, which is like, uh, you know, um, um, 
I can't remember what, uh, basically, there's an Indian term for being asked backwards. And basically, if they tell you, I'm going to, I'm not going to kill you, it means they're going to kill you. I'm not going to burn your house down, they're going to burn your house down. But they will tell you exactly what they're going to do by saying, I won't do it. And who's that? Those are, those are that's Muslims. They will simply, that's why they're hard to deal with in business. Because if they'll, you know, they're very difficult. You know, they'll, they'll you know, I'm sorry I cannot accept you know, uh, ten dollars. They told you right off the bat. You know, he, I want a hundred dollars for this. They told you what they'll accept, mm -hmm. and they dick. Remember, they're the they're known as the horse traders to the world, but they'll always sell you what the price is. I cannot go as low as twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. They told you where they'll go, mm -hmm. but they like the dicker. In California, to support raise billions in new taxes because it will teach business and oil and fast food a lesson. I know, isn't that? They're going to allow each community in the state of California to raise its own taxes. Is that really going through? Yeah, it's already going through because as uh, I don't, I got to, actually Rex doesn't care about that because that's not Obama. But um, uh, the problem is, is they have decided Republicans could make this a lot easier by just letting the taxes be raised statewide. So they're going to let a thousand communities uh, they're going to raise taxes on plastic products. They're going to raise taxes on soda pop. They're going to raise taxes on beer, not wine, but beer. They're going to raise taxes on cigarettes, but they're, not, they're going to allow marijuana to be sold. And they're going to raise taxes on all oil and big businesses. Mm -hmm. Everybody that the left hates is going, and the politically correct people hate, and the green people hate, are going to have their taxes raised in California. They said 66% of the Californians demand new taxes. No, they don't. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to know one that demands new taxes. They can't find, they, they take a poll among Democrats that are on the left and the people on the left are always right, where, but they exonerate, they, they basically excuse themselves from their own taxes. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. You know, as much as Rex, that the idea of compromise is both you are supposed to give. When you blame somebody that's doing all the giving for not giving enough, that's not compromise. 